Hello to everyone, Denise Kozar here. In this video I want to show you how to create some water puddles like you see here. If you want more interesting videos, please like this video, subscribe on my channel and write some comments, it all will motivate me for recording new stuff. For creation of this tutorial I was inspired by Adam Carmendi. I really appreciate his work and uh, decide to make something in Corona and make it more easier and faster. And also I created by procedural maps. First of all you need to create some surface material. In my case it is grey concrete. It look like this. Here we have diffuse texture, some texture for bump, for reflection and uh, reflection color. I will close it by now and apply this material to your surface. OK. Sometimes it have bug here. OK, I will start interactive so you can see what changes we create. Next, I create layered material. Corona layered MTL. OK. And here we feed this material to the base slot. And as you can see we have just our concrete. Next I need to assign water material to layer 0. I will call it water. Next I change color to black. Put reflections to 1. And Fresnel IOR. Water have 133. Good. Next uh, glossiness will be something like 95 and we need to apply this material to the surface to our object now we can see changes and it all become like a water surface but we need only some areas and uh, these areas will be represented by noise map we plug it into the mask but for better understanding I will create new corona material plug this mask to the diffuse color and assign this material to our surface. Next I will make noise threshold more contrasty. Low will be 0.49 and high will be 0.5 you can see uh, in this preview window how it looks and you can see here some strange thing happens and I recently assign this material to the walls 
and now it's everything all right and we can continue so here you can change the size of your puddles you can make it fractal and more detail or you can keep them regular it's all about your taste next we need to make this border more soften for this I will decrease low to 0 0.44 all parameters you can set up by eye and um, there is no any formula it's all depends of your taste next when we create the mask we need to assign our layered material back to the surface and I need to select floor just like this assign it no need to give this material next to make it look more realistic you need to add mix map to the diffuse color and uh, under the water surface looks much darker than uh, the dry surface but in our case now we have pretty much black and it is wrong so I need to take output from the diffuse color of the concrete and create it a little bit darker we can do it by the curves I will make only this spot as a busier corner and decrease it like this so you can see the difference between this and this as you see it looks more correctly and after I will plug it into the color 1 and you can see changes here next I will take the noise mask and plug it to a mix amount and here we need also change the white color to the black okay next what we need is to create another output from the noise map and invert it because you see uh, here we have not so realistic result and we don't see this slightly darker concrete texture under the water so I will invert this map and um, in a second you will see the nice result here we are now we have really nice and realistic puddles effect also you can add some slight bump it will be also noise texture with uh, little size you can also preview this texture on a 
another corona material just to see how it looks and after feed it to the bump slot of water bump amount will be 0 3 and now I want to show you difference with the mix node and without it for this I will stir this frame and uh, now I will just disable this mask by turning off the diffuse and now you can see the puddles appear much darker and it looks very strange if I stop this and uh, stir also this it will be A, it will be B and as you can see the mix map is the key to create realistic and nice puddle effect if you like this tutorial please uh, subscribe on my channel write some comments you can also uh, give some advices or ideas for the new tutorials and I will very appreciate this. See you next time. Bye.